Welcome to Asset TV. I'm Jillian Kemmerer here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I'm joined by Sean McCarthy, CEO of Build America Mutual. Sean, great to have you back on Asset TV. And I'd like to start with a temperature check for the municipal bonds market. What have you seen so far this year and what are you expecting going into the second half of 2023? So thanks for having me here. It's always a pleasure and being on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange is quite a special treat. Uh, so I think uh, 2023 is a tale of two halves. The first half of the year, primary market was quite a bit slower than was predicted. And that's that's really an issue of uh, the Fed and interest rates. Most municipal bond issuers in the primary market were really uh, waiting to see when the interest rates were going to reach their peak. Uh, I think the common belief right now is that we're pretty close to the top. Maybe the Fed raises it a little bit more, but or maybe not. But either way, we can see that in the second half of the year, it will be a year of building new issue. Now, we would be remiss if we didn't touch on the biggest headline of August so far, which is, of course, that Fitch has downgraded the United States from AAA to AA+. How does this impact municipal bonds? So, uh, you know, I don't think it impacts it very much. If you think about two fundamental issues um, in the municipal bond market, uh, first, uh, most states have balanced budget um, requirements and uh, in their own right are very strong. And if you think about the infrastructure finance system in the United States, it's entirely based on the municipal bond market. 80% or over 80% of what we think of as infrastructure, schools, bridges, tunnels, roads, hospitals, are built with municipal bonds. And so that funding mechanism is not very affected by the federal rating. In fact, if you think about states themselves, uh, according to Fitch and Standard & Poor's, there are a dozen or more states themselves that are AAA rated and remain that, remain that way. Now, that's quite a bit different than internationally. So if in a particular country, um, the sovereign gets downgraded, all of the municipalities, municipal entities underneath that get downgraded as well. In the case of the United States, that's not so. I think it's important to talk about the credit quality for individual borrowers because BAM has insured more than 125 billion of bonds for more than 5,500 communities across the nation. So what are you seeing from those issuers? So, you know, pre-COVID, um, most municipalities came into uh, that cycle with their coffers full. It had been a strong economy. I think on the heels of the Great Recession, most municipalities had built up their reserves. So. During COVID, uh, there were very few trend, uh, issuers that uh, experienced extreme distress, but they certainly did have um, uh, some, some cash flow stresses, which the government provided a number of different programs to support. Now, if you think about what's happening right now, the biggest issue going forward for municipalities is higher interest rates. And why are higher interest rates an issue? Because if you... Uh, mortgage rates are going to be higher. And if mortgage rates are higher, there's a potential for real estate prices to be lower and therefore tax revenues from real estate uh, in each of the state and local governments, it will have a potential to go down. So we watch that very carefully. And I think that's something that the market should watch. And lastly, in broad strokes, how are municipal bond investors responding to this outlook? So, you know, uh, a couple of interesting things. Uh, as interest rates have gone up, uh, about a third of the market each year uh, usually is co constitutes refinancings of municipal bonds to lower the interest cost. But right now, there are not very many um, uh, refinancings that are happening as a result of the interest rates as, uh, being as high as they are. Investors, though, are taking advantage of the higher interest rate market overall, and we're starting to see an inflow of monies coming back into the municipal market, whereas last year, by contrast, there was an outflow. Sean, thank you so much for taking the time to share your view on the municipal bonds market with our viewers. Absolutely. Really, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Jillian Kemmerer here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Sean McCarthy, CEO of Build America Mutual.